What's going on, everybody? You tuned into my first hey, what's up? radio. We got <laughs> Dana Chanel. What's going on? I'm excited. To, you're here. Yeah, finally. Yeah. It was our first official time meeting. Yeah, because we did uh, talk. Right. Before. And we've met before, but you probably don't even remember. When? In oh. Delaware. Oh, listen, I barely remember my Delaware days. Like, when I was in Delaware, I was bad. I was a bad Are girl, you? but I probably don't even remember half my high school <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. I don't remember it at all. Total black. Blacked out. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Absolutely. So, it's so good to meet you. Um, tell everybody about your platform, Speak with Jesus, because it's phenomenal. I probably post it all the time. Everybody's like, who is this girl you keep posting? Who is this yeah. girl you keep posting? I'm like, Dana Chanel, check out Spring Blue Jesus. It's, it's, it's just amazing. Well, Spring Blue Jesus is an online ministry where young people, it's like, we make it comfortable for one another to talk about things that we don't feel comfortable coming to the church to talk about. We talk about sex, we talk about drugs, we talk about life, friendship, haters. Like, we just talk about life and I just feel like we're all pushing each other towards Christ. Yeah, definitely. And how have you been able to, you know, keep that message um, strong within, you know, youth? Because it's not easy to, you know, try to encourage people, but it, it, it's easy to, you know, motivate them. I feel like we used to have to, with anything you do, you have to continue to be innovative and always bringing new things to the table. For example, I knew social media was so big for people our age, you know what I mean? So I made sure everything was social media accessible. We have a Sprinkle of Jesus app, and we do things together. I don't believe we should just meet in church. Right. I want to have a relationship with other Christ, like like my brothers and my sisters, outside of church. So Sprinkle of Jesus has events everywhere across the country. And we get together, like, we kickbox, we do yoga, we do all kinds of stuff. Wish I missed. Yeah, yeah, you need to come to one. Stop playing. I will. <laughs> I'm here now. <laughs> so now, um, tell everybody about, you know, life before you like your, your tell them your testimony because it's, it's deep yeah well, you heard a little bit about it but um in high school i was a typical party kid i smoked i drank i did things i was not supposed to <laughs> <laughs> and um i was curious about god i wasn't sure if i actually believed mm -hmm. so i kind of i didn't know what i was doing i fasted and i was like okay well i heard that if you fast you get answers so i was like i'm gonna fast and for a month i did and right afterwards, I was in a huge car accident. Um, I flipped my car 100 feet into the woods, didn't hit a tree, walked out like this. I didn't black out. And a, a family came to me and said, um, you know, God was watching over you. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And so when that was the first thing that they said to me, I was like, wow, like, this is what I fasted for. And he gave me the answers. Like whenever all the doctors said, like, you should be dead right now, he showed me that. He was capable of the impossible. He showed me how powerful he really was. And so I was a believer ever since. But even then, I still didn't behave. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a process. People right, think that yes. you start learning about God and church and stuff and that you're supposed to change overnight, and that's not how it is at all. It's a process. Every day, I'm still struggling with certain things. Like, one day, you might see me in the club one day. Like, I'm still battling with the world as well. Right. I'm still trying to keep that balance where I can have fun but still love Jesus at the same time. Exactly. And people should, you know, never expect it. Okay, she's so into God that she's not going to be at a jury concert. She's not going to be in a club. Yeah, she's not I, have I love those artists. They're awesome to me. I mean, all of us are called to spread the gospel different ways, not be a minister and only talk about God. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But we're all called to spread the message in our lanes. Sure. And you use it through social media. You do it great. I'm just I think shocked by the numbers. I'm like, oh my. And you've seen, I've grown so much. Yeah. You were, you were we were following each other yeah, like, for like a while before this. Mm -hmm. so. And I saw like the transition. I was like, whoa. Yeah, and I leave it up on Instagram. Like, you guys out there, you guys can go see my transition. Scroll down. Seriously, like, it scroll will, it down. It will be creepy. Yeah, no, I'm time. letting you. <laughs> I'm allowing you, but go down my entire timeline and you will see all of it. You will see when I was in the club. You'll see me flying to Miami and LA, like, drinking, acting crazy. Like, you can, it's not a secret. I'm not afraid of my past because I know where I'm coming from. And I know other people are out there battling the same thing that I am. Right. And how were those times like, you know, you're just being rebellious and it, it, You know what it is? It was fun for a moment. Mm. And then 
a lot of the time when we do certain things, we're letting the enemy play with us. Like we're toiling, we're playing with the enemy, and he comes and destroys us very slowly. He's a, the devil is patient. Yes. And so it's like a lot of things were affecting me emotionally and spiritually and stuff like that. And I didn't, I, I didn't get it until I was all worn out, and all I needed was Jesus. Right. And so it was hard. But I got through and I realized how powerful I was, what God created me to do, what I, he was capable of, what he made me capable of, and it's never been the same since. Right. And it's just amazing. Like, I probably like almost every post or try not to. It seems like creepy. But I <laughs> no, just really. I don't like those kind of followers. If I follow you, I'm going to like everything. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. a, I'm not a hater. Like, I'm right. going to like everything if I follow you. Mm -hmm. Cause I, Because I just see them like, this is really positive. People should, you know, really, you know, really get in touch with. Their religion finds find some outlet. But not, not even religion. religion. Relationship. Yep. They should have a relationship. Forget religion. Because mm -hmm. religion just wants you to conform to a whole set of rules. But Jesus, when you have a relationship with him, he gives you true freedom. True. That's definitely true. So tell me about um, the celebrities like finding yourself. I know Timbaland posted, <laughs> Chicana. Like, what's that like when you see it for the first time? Um. Well, I don't think of celebrities as celebrities mm -hmm. because they're people who, who need Jesus as well mm -hmm. that are battling this a lot of the same exact things that we are. They're just put on a pedestal. And so yep. it's my job to teach them as well or encourage them. You know, I get texts from everyone in the industry and they ask me for encouragement and that's my job. They're no different than, than you texting me or right. the person I used to go to school with texting me asking me for help. And what's that been like, you know, hearing from people of like school that you used to you know, no at that time. Um, I kind of don't talk to them anymore. I feel like life is all about seasons and you grow out yes. of people. And sometimes they won't understand, or of course they're going to be the first to say, to try to discredit the work that God has done in me. <laughs> and I'm not for the discrediting because I don't discredit you. You know what right. I mean? Because half the time, if you know about me in my past, you probably were doing it with me. So you right. have no reason to criticize me. So. I mean, a lot of people have gotten in contact. Not a lot, but a few. And, you know, I say this is real. Dude, like, God changed my life around. He could do the same for you. Mm -hmm. And I can even say for myself, like, I feel like, I mean, you've seen what I've put in work wise yeah. with my companies and brands. And I say, like, because I had, I was working a regular job like everybody else. I worked at Champs in that, a Christiana that, Mall. That's where I had met you at. Really? Yup. You had rang me up. Listen, I worked a lot, like... I think I had got, what are you, Timberlands? I don't know. And the soul, and I, <laughs> I think would they have not were. remembered. I'm telling you, and literally, it's so weird, the soul just came off one of them. Oh my Ooh, gosh, that's like, so crazy. Oh, crap. <laughs> but, um, he's, he's worked in mysterious ways with, like, my brand. Like, I have lost my job, like, two years ago, and... Like my show is really slow, and I and I like to tell this in my interviews with people, so people can really understand that God does amazing things. He does, and He's changed my life. He's turned my life upside down and turned it right side up. And and that's the thing about having a relationship with God. Like things still aren't perfect in my life. You know, there's still things. You know, I get upset about. I cry. I would laugh. But I've never been so happy in my life. And God gives you that permanent joy, no matter what you're going through. That's true. So what's next for Spring Hill Jesus and you know the stuff that you got going on? Oh actually right now where you're meeting me, we're actually shooting new Spring Hill Jesus commercials. And um we, I love supporting Christian businesses. I think that Christians should be rich. I feel like mm -hmm. we should support each other. If I have a sneaker store, I want you to buy sneakers for my store. You know what yeah. I mean? If you have a PR firm, I want all my clients, uh, I want my brothers and sisters to use your firm instead of somebody else's. Right. So um, we have over 15 businesses here shooting the commercial with me. We're all sharing advertisement space. So um, we're going to be playing all the commercials in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, um, to over like 4 million households. And we have companies from apparel lines, candle companies. I mean, you guys can't see right now, right. but they're all out here. <laughs> And um, yeah, so we're shooting a commercial right now. I'm really excited. That's nice. And your commercials turn out really good. I don't get to actually see it on television. Yeah, these co this commercial is actually a little different. I actually did my selfie Instagram videos. So they took the professional cameras and we like selfie did it. Oh wow! So, so it's gonna look is like that a what selfie I on saw TV. Saw the uh, glimpse of. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's why you're gonna be nervous. Yeah. I was like, don't watch me. <laughs> 
right. No, because I'll start stuttering and stuff during my videos. People think that I like write it down and stuff mm -hmm. like my videos, but I don't. I just come off the dome or like if yeah. I read my Bible that morning and something stuck out, I'll make it into a video, but sometimes I'll be like stuttering. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And what strikes you like for certain scriptures that you, you know, when your videos that you um, side back? So I tell people all the time, my videos are not for y'all. They're for me. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching to myself. These are these videos are things that I need. Like I need help with that I'm I, I'm continuing to go grow through. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So um, anything kind of sticks out to me. I try to stay in my Bible and in my Word and stuff. And yo, know, every time I read, I just find something so much more amazing. I'm like, yo, how do people not know this? Right. You know what I mean? And so like I have to share. Yeah, and I find it like more than half of the posts, like your videos, I'm like, oh, this is perfect in the moment of what's going on right, right now with and me. Right, it just works. I don't know. And I'm like, whoa. And then how many people comment saying they're going through the same exact thing? A lot. And they're that's just so like, crazy. Wow. If if people can post like like I used to, I used to post videos smoking blunts and at the strip club. Why can't I post a video talking about God? Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed. Right, and I think that people should be able to do that some people are so afraid of being boxed in and like oh if i talk about god or if i talk about whatever it is if i talk about this relationship or this i'll be boxed in yeah if, if you feel like you're gonna be boxed in just go for it just yes. go for it go for it that's how i started i just went for it um i just want to follow in the steps of jesus and i just and he says in the word that i can do even greater things than he did. Mm -hmm. and he's 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 my idol Right. He's the one that I'm striving to be with. So. Absolutely. Well, Dana, thanks so much for no, uh, thank you for yeah, coming. Can you tell everybody where they can um, follow you just in case they're not already, yeah. which um, they need to be? Yeah, you need to be. <laughs> um, follow me at Dana Chanel, D-A-N-A-C-H-A-N-E-L. And